days. What day is it? Three? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. Day three. Trying to go from Dargo side over towards Omeo. One of the roads we thought we were going to take was closed, so we're not really sure where we're going, but we got sunshine today. How good's that? So the idea is, hopefully we go over towards Amio and then we're going to try and find our way up the back of Mount Pinabar and uh, camp up that way somewhere and cross the Mars tomorrow and go back into New South Wales. Steep track down, beautiful mountain views, fog coming out of the valley. It's just unreal this place. Considering like it's still pretty grippy, but like it's just, there's a few sections to take off in. Yeah, it's uh, pretty good. <laughs> there might be an over the door. There's a bed in there. Yeah. Clean bed. There's a love shack. <laughs> I've seen some I've seen some ghetto huts in my time, but this place takes the cake. This is a sweet. <laughs> oh there is heaps of hooks there. Oh yeah. Definitely hunting. Rabbits, deer, human. Interesting, definitely interesting. Yeah, let's run with interesting. I'm much more used to nice high country huts. This this isn't a nice high country hut. But if it's freezing and it's raining, it's better than sleeping in the cold. Oh wow. We should have camped out here. <laughs> that is pretty cool. That'd be deep. You can sort of just see the rocks in the sunlight there. Yeah, there was a track that went out the other side there. Yeah, I thought it might have done it. Oh, loop around, yeah. <laughs> you going low or do you just stay in high? I went Feels like it's flapping the side of the car. Well, high country climb. It's the right sort of direction to where we want to go, but where the map tells us we should have been, this isn't quite the right road, so it'd be interesting to see how we go. What a climb, eh? That was a big climb. So we just got onto this Birkin Road. This is sort of like a main road that just leads to Amy Oak. Because we're going to try and do Pinabar this afternoon. We're not too worried about taking tracks this morning. We'll save that for this afternoon. So yeah, it should be a good day. Nice views up here. Glad we got clear skies again. And this is a high country I know and love. It was good to do it in the rain and the fog, but it's much nicer when it's clear. We're finally in the right direction. I've got the sign, Alpine National Park. That's a good sign. That's where we need to be. We've hit the dirt, we're back on track. She's getting a bit bumpy. We've just aired back down to 20 PSI. Very high country with these guns. So this is Beluka Range track. I'm not expecting it to be too hard, but we're basically just gonna follow this one up. We end up on Pheasants Creek and then we're gonna get on Mount Gibbay. And then I'm expecting Mount Gibbay to have some good climbs on it. Well, I'm assuming so, because it's going to go up a fair way. This track here is Pheasants Creek track. There are a few steep sections in it. 1026 here. Have a look at that road out there, I reckon that's where we're going up. Whoa. Now we get to the bottom of this, and uh, river crossing. Country River. Halfway along Pheasants Creek, we've got a river. And now we're going to be climbing a massive incline. So let's see how this goes. Probably not going to feel much of this. You'll have to trust me when I say it's a hell of a climb coming up Pheasants Creek. 
Yeah, look at these views though. 680 down at the river, up to 1500 at the peak. Just gotta be careful driving through tracks like this with grass growing out of the middle of them. It tends to get caught up under your car and catch fire. So. In my case, I've got Maddie watching out behind me, but when we do get back to decent roads, we'll just have a quick check and make sure there's no crap built up, caught up anywhere that could potentially cause us grief. Feels like a real adventure up here. I don't feel like this track's been used very much. Oh, Pheasant's Creek track. That was a good track. I like it. All right, just turn on the Mountain Gibbo track. There is a gate at the entrance. Obviously, it's closed in certain weather conditions. So any of these gator tracks are generally good tracks, I reckon. But this should take us straight over to Pima. So this should be a good drive. All right, this is the last climb up to Mount Gibbo. And it is a little bit steep and rocky and got a few steps in it, but nothing too bad. I did grab the diff lock in a few places. But I can see the peak here, so we're looking all right. There's like a little pile of rocks up here. This is the top of Mount Gibbo. Look at this plank of wood on the ground. It must have been a sign at some stage. 1750 elevation. I'm going to sit Mount Gibbo. Oh, that's a good step on an angle like this. I did get a little concerned when you disappeared out of sight. Most over at Pinabar now. The last climb up to the Pinabar track. Well, well the top's fallen off the trick, but there she is, the top of the hill. Last climb. Well, we did it. Got to Pinabar. A bit cloudy, a bit stormy. So, we're going to head down and cross the Murray and get that done today, in case it comes up. I think we'll be right though. A few drops on the windscreen. So I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous about this because I don't have a snorkel and I'm going to cross the mighty Murray. But anyway, we'll go for a wander down and have a look. It looks pretty shallow, so we should be right. <laughs> I hope it's like that. Here goes nothing. Perfect. <laughs> 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 
just follow this road around and then we'll find somewhere to get. Okay. And we're home now. We're in New South, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had to wash it somehow. <laughs> so I definitely can't wait to cut that big hole in the side and get the snorkel on it. <laughs> we made it. This is... That's Cozzy up there. I think that's Cozzy. Your bloody ruse everywhere. Got a rare yellow digger over the back. Not a bad place to roll out of swag for the last night. I've just spent two days in the bush. I've got a It's cold. It's cold? Well, that's a wrap. Tacos for dinner. Fire. Ready to keep picking the swag for the big drive home tomorrow. Down at Tom Grogan. Well, not an ideal way to end a trip. It also looks like a flat tire. There is no wheel studs left in there. <laughs> and a lot of metal. Well, my bike control.